my god, look at how dry my feet are, Mel. <gasps> my feet are always dry in the house. Then why don't you put lotion on them? What's up, Kabari crew? Welcome back to the channel. So we're starting out this morning by heading to a doctor's appointment. You excited, Mel? Welcome yes, to all of my appointments because he's the best daddy ever. But yep. we are going to the doctor's appointment first and then we have a um, meeting with my management after. So we are... How am I out of breath? Already. So after the appointment, we might have a little bit of time to go grab some food and then we'll see you guys over at our meeting. Got some quick little snack. Got a mango cold brew tea. I got a pomegranate blueberry tea mixture, I don't know, but it looks delicious. Matches your straw. Yep. So we just, <laughs> there we go. We just got a quick snack because I made us some reservations at this restaurant we've been wanting to go to for a while. Just arrived at the meeting. Meeting. You know, power couple vibes. Right it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It is. You can hear the birds chirping, all pretty. Blue skies. Mm -hmm. So we just finished our meeting. Yep. Lots of good stuff. 2020 moves coming crazy. Yeah. I'll be on the lookout because I'm excited wifey, for 2020. We about to go crazy this year. Y'all thought the baby was gonna be the biggest thing to happen to us this year. Probably will be. I know. I was like, but, come on. <laughs> but we're going to have a lot of crazy stuff going on this year. Definitely have other moves. A lot of stuff planned. for you guys to get involved with as well. Sorry. Oh my God. It got so dark. We're walking under some trees. But since we're on this side of town, we decided to pop on over to John and Vinny's. And I was at the appointment for our baby and I'm making reservations for us to eat lunch. So we've been in this place once before, but a different location. We're at the Fairfax location this time. But, um, they have really good like pizza and pasta, so yeah, that's where we're eating. Look at this wine room at John and Vinny's, guys. Imagine having this in your house. We almost did. <laughs> Imagine you got guests over and you're like, come pick out a bottle. That's our fault. We always stay in Hollywood longer to eat. And that's what kills us. After we eat, the drive is always super long. This is why I'll be telling Nas to chill out sometimes. Like, I just started feeling pregnant like two weeks ago. It happened out of nowhere. It's like I went from not even feeling like I had a belly or anything to like five pound weight on my mm. stomach at all times. Yeah, I can imagine. But thank you for carrying my boy. I love him. I wish I could carry him so you didn't have to. Why can't we carry babies in like our upper back? Like a backpack. You know, yeah, I feel like that's back. a better balance of weight. Could you imagine having a big old hump yeah. off your back like that? You look like the hunchback. 
had a nice productive day today. Mm -hmm. All you couples out there, make sure you guys go out, spend some time with each other during the day. We had a nice midday date mm -hmm. to go get some good food. Mm, get me out of this car. Oh, he got 35 more minutes. So get comfortable, baby girl. Is there like, do they make like special things that you can put on your seat in the car? I should. I wish I could just like cuddle up with my pillow, the pregnancy pillow. Look it up on Amazon. They want to have something for your back or something when we get home. Mm -hmm. But you're getting the, the, um, the last drive right now. You're almost done. Mm -hmm. And when I sit on like a hard seat for too long, like when we went to John and Benny's, the seats were like hard wood. That hurts. Like when I get up after an hour. Yeah. Ryan Little. Is that my Frenchie? It's getting fur all over me. French boy. Cozy boy. Hi, pumpkin. Guys, look at Frenchie. <laughs> I don't know if I just call him Frenchie, babe, because I call him Frenchie so much. <laughs> we got Cozy a little Frenchie blanket, and he loves it. Look. Well, Cozy's all over it. <clears throat> Guys, I keep on infiltrating the man cave. Somehow I keep ending up in here, huh? Find a way to sneak in here every day. Mm-hmm. Well, now that you have this couch, I have somewhere to sit. I have a boy in here, though. So technically, I'm allowed. It's not the boy's cave. Then how come Cozy's allowed in here? He's a boy. He's been through a lot, so he's a man. All yesterday, you need to give me attention every day. I'm pregnant with your child, Mel. Not in the morning. Ugh. My attention starts at night. Look at our French boy. This is my other baby. What boy? Oh my god, baby, you look so cute. Look at him. Guys, I was watching the footage and my double chin was to the gods. Oh, look at him. See, when I was laying like that in the other clips, mm. my double chin was out of this world. Oh my god, look at how dry my feet are, Mel. <gasps> my feet are always dry now. Then why don't you put lotion on it? Cheers. What's up you guys? We wanted to end this video by just sitting down and talking to y'all because we have not uploaded on YouTube. I think we're going on nine days now. Ten days. Ten days? There's nine yesterday, right? This, this is like for us, this is our first time taking a break that doesn't feel like a break though. But we really haven't taken a break in ever like when when have we gone 10 days without uploading on youtube i mean never 10 days but usually when we don't upload for a while it's like it feels like an actual break this yeah. i feel like we've still been working non-stop just because we we've also so we, we've do. still been filming and stuff like that so we have technically been working we just haven't really been editing and uploading we just kind of switched our focus to getting the house ready you know yeah. with, with our baby coming and how long is he going to, until he's here now? Pretty much six weeks. So in about here. six weeks, like our baby will be here. And when we got back from Ohio, as you guys know, some of you don't know, but we went back home for the holidays. So we went to Ohio. When we got back, we literally came home. We had no dining table. We had no couch. And we had no furniture. Like our house was empty. And so we were like, we can't bring a child into this world until yeah like this and not and not even just that just the way that me and Nas are like we don't like being in an incomplete space so just being here and being in the kitchen trying to cook and act like everything's normal then look over and see that we don't even have a couch or dining room table we it didn't was like just, that we, we weren't comfortable yeah. and we're we're hosts like we love having friends over we mm -hmm. love hosting dinner parties and you yeah. know things like that so that is a big part of 
what makes us happy so that was a priority for us to get this house you know semi decent to actually be able to have friends over i mean right now we're sitting at my dining room table yeah. so my dining room chairs mm -hmm. are here which i'm really happy about but yeah we just wanted to update you guys on why we haven't uploaded so house big big part of that yeah, um part. also me you guys know i've had a pretty knock on wood i've had a pretty great pregnancy so far um, obviously first trimester I had the nausea, but that's really that's normal. That's nothing out of the norm and then second trimester It was just great for me. I I'm posting a pregnancy update So I'm not gonna get too into it, but second trimester was great for me I had so much energy. My belly wasn't really that big. I didn't really have any pains I was still living my life like I wasn't pregnant to be honest and then I would say like two weeks ago like right when we came home from Ohio and I got really sick Ever since then, it's like my pregnancy just hit me. Um, like I've been in so much pain. My belly, like <laughs> my belly got huge out of nowhere. Yeah. Mel loves the belly though. Mm -hmm. You like the belly. But my belly got huge out of nowhere and I just feel so heavy. Now the baby, according to my app, is the size of a butternut squash. She's supposed to be around like four pounds right now. So it's like walking around with this like four pound weight on my stomach, like my back hurts so much. Yeah. Like everything just hurts. So I just haven't really been in the mood to film. Mm -hmm. But even though we haven't been in the mood to film, I still like to stay, like keep you guys updated on my Instagram. So make sure you guys are both following us on Instagram because we yeah. do keep you guys updated on there regularly. And when we came home from Ohio, it just hit me that we have so many things that we haven't scheduled that we needed to do, like our mm -hmm. maternity shoot. So from the last vlog you guys saw, we did another photo shoot like yeah. in between then and now. I knew we had to schedule our maternity shoot. Uh, we had to work on a nursery. We didn't even begin the nursery yet. So we had to do that. We wanted to paint, which we did. So we had to get that started. We had to, um, plan our LA baby shower. That yeah. was also a big thing, which is that's gonna be this weekend, which I'm so excited for. And we flew out both of our moms for this. So my mom's flying in tonight, Mel's mom is flying in tomorrow. So, you know, getting them all situated, you know, getting their tickets, getting their guest rooms ready. We've just had a lot going on in our just personal life, lives. Life just really hit us. Mm -hmm. And we had to just buckle down and get these things taken care of because as Nas gets further along in the pregnancy, I want her to be able to relax a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And so now the fact that we pretty much have our house almost, I wouldn't say completely decorated, like we're still missing art and little knickknacks and things like that. But as far as tables, beds, mattresses, like we the have- big pieces are yeah, done. we have everything now. It's like now. a off my shoulders, to be honest. So now for, you know, the remainder of the pregnancy, Nas can just relax. And Vlogmas was so great for us. I really feel like just the Kavari crew in general, like we all just got really close during Vlogmas. Don't you feel like we just got to a different level? Yeah. Now we want to commit to three times a week at least. And I think we can do it, like especially teamwork. Yeah, I mean, together. I, I, I know that we definitely will be able to do that. Um, it's just it just comes down to us getting the content filmed. I, I feel like sometimes that's like the hardest thing. Yeah, for us we don't like to force content because yesterday we tried forcing content and we didn't upload the video because we literally sat there and watched it and we looked at each other and we're like, this video is horrible. But we have a ton of content ideas coming up for you guys. And the thing is, we're also working on a ton of things behind the scenes that aren't YouTube related at all. Yeah. Like Mel and I definitely want to use. We this have a year lot of crazy things to happens. you know start other endeavors and that also takes up a lot of time mm -hmm. but we have a lot a lot of content idea and a lot of exciting things coming up that we can easily film i know like the baby shower is going to be a vlog in itself i'm going to do a get ready with me for that yeah. um we definitely want to introduce mel's mom to the channel as well you guys need to meet the baby's grandmas mm -hmm. you already know my mom but you don't know his mom so we want to introduce her as well i mean just just be looking out for the content like now said we have a whole list of videos that we are going to film so you yes. guys will be seeing those we don't quote us on it but we are going to be committing to at least three times a week mm -hmm. um you know give or take whatever may or may not happen throughout you know dealing with the pregnancy or the house things come up but that is our goal is at least three times a week. I hope you guys are as excited for the baby as we are because that's oh, all, that's literally all that we talk about. 24 seven. It's just, I wish he was here. I wish he was here. Like we're, we're so looking forward to starting a new chapter in our life as, as, parents? as parents, like not pet parents, but human parents. It's 
It's gonna be crazy. I have a little melon there. So we just wanna end this video off by saying we don't want you guys to feel neglected. Trust us, like if we're not uploading, we are thinking about you guys. Like we're literally looking at yeah. each other like, damn, we need to upload, like we feel so bad. And we had like a little marriage meeting the other day and I was like, babe, we gotta get our focus back on onto work because I feel like it's been a little bit too long. But the thing that I appreciate throughout this time period is we haven't really got a lot of people reaching out like, Where's your videos? Where's the uploads? I think people just kind of understand that like, we just got a house, we have a baby on the way. So we're like dealing with a lot and I, I appreciate the fact that you guys aren't like pressuring us to upload, but just know we're, we're pressuring ourselves and we're thinking about you guys. And I'm like, it, it's it's like, it's kind of like, you know, when, you, when you're watching a show and and you're waiting for the next week for it to drop canceled or something. Like you're sad know, when you're is, looking forward to something. So disappointing. We want to keep that going for you guys. And trust me, we're going to have a lot of fire content challenges. So make sure you guys leave us some more video suggestions down below. Yeah, give us some, give us some fire ones and let us see your creativity. Don't give us the ones that are already trending online. I want you guys to try and come up with some new and original content for us. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in our next video, which is actually going to be the day after you guys watch this. So. So you're getting back to back. So already we back in the grind. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. Like Nas said, comment down below. And what else? That's it. And Roxy's being annoying with her bones. So that's our cue to turn off the camera.